And uh, welcome to uh, Dominate I Live, the Obsidian Project Week 18, I think it is. Um, as you can see, we are on the main menu of Minecraft. Uh, we're still having some technical issues. Uh, the server is uh, is not up at the moment, um, and neither of us. Uh, Adam is here with me. Hello, Adam. Hello. Uh, neither of us are running the server, so there's nothing that we can do about that. Um, so we're just going to try and, you know, let you in on uh, in on our pre-game conversation here. And uh, hopefully we can have some interesting discussion. Uh, this is more like a podcast, I guess, at this point. <laughs> uh, like a live podcast. I think they call that radio in the business. Well, they do. Um I suppose I was about to say they do when it's broadcast over radio, but I suppose there is a thing called internet radio. So that is also, yeah. Um, I guess that's so. It's called radio because it uses radio waves, right? Yeah. Um, or are radio waves called that because that's the range of frequencies that radio is broadcast on. I think it's. I think it's the first one. I, I think it's called radio because it uses radio waves. I think. I'm trying to remember my introduction to the history of broadcasting course. Uh, <laughs> I can, I cannot. I remember Marconi. I remember, um, well, I remember his last name, and I remember he was, was he on the Titanic? He was not on the Titanic. He was a ship, uh, no. Was he a ship? God. <laughs> I said I remembered him. I don't remember him. I don't remember anything about his life. 
So this is going well. Um, so radio waves are just that's the, just a blanket term for yeah the the like sort of largest waves that range, according to NASA's website, um, range in length uh, from the length of a football pe- football field to larger than our planet. Okay, gotcha. Um, So I believe that like Wi-Fi operates on yeah. waves. Yeah. Uh, Wi-Fi with. Wi-Fi. Well, that's that's why um, the the National Radio Quiet Zone. It's not as strict as as people make it out to believe, but very close to the big uh, like radio telescope. There, Wi-Fi is not permitted to be openly broadcast. Like within. I think it's like 10 miles or something. Um, And because Wi-Fi is a type of radio. Yeah. So. um, So uh, 12 centimeter or 6 centimeter wavelengths. So not. Okay. Not as. Not as far or not as long as radio, according to the website that I just read. But like. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Well, that is that is our uh, required uh, educational portion taken care of. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Well, anyway, um, how are you, Adam? Um, I'm doing all right. I actually just yesterday. Um, sorry, I'm just, I'm starting that sentence like it's going to be bad. This is going to be a good <laughs> thing. I've got okay. good news. Um, Yesterday, I started watching this show called Search Party. Okay. Um, starring Aaliyah Shawkat, who is who plays Maybe in Arrested Development, if you're at all familiar with that. Nope, but keep um, going. <laughs> uh, basically, the show is about a group of, like, folks, kids in their late 20s, early 30s, hmm. um, living in Brooklyn, who... Uh, the main character played by Aaliyah Shawkat um, uh, sees a, a missing persons poster of oh, yeah? a woman that she went to college with and she becomes like obsessed with finding this this woman okay um, <laughs> and it's a little bit it's it's I it's like a comedic thriller like it has some thriller elements but it is the the main meat of the show is very sort of like uh, like a comedy of errors sort of thing Mm -hmm. Um, with just like everybody in this world is like a terrible person um, (laughs) oh wow in like in a very funny way like everybody's just really self-absorbed and like Mm. you know oh my personal struggle is like the hardest struggle and like in the first episode she tells her friends about this woman's disappearance and her friends all tweet and and post on Instagram about it. Wow! And people come up to them at parties and are like, "Oh, I'm I'm so sorry to hear about your friend." And they have this moment of confusion where they're like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" And the person will be like, "It's so sad that that poor girl is missing." And then they're like, "Oh yes, I'm so broken up about it. I'm so sad." It's just like, it's, yeah. yeah, stuff like that. It's really funny. <laughs> um, Anyways, I'm really enjoying it. I'm like five episodes in, and I think it's great. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have. Uh, I I just started a uh, a new single player world, by the way, because I figured uh, just showing the main menu of Minecraft was uh, not exactly the greatest stream experience. Um, but uh, I I have been getting. I have gone back, uh, Lord help me, I'm back on my bullshit. I have crawled back to Todd Howard and I am playing Fallout 4 once again. <laughs> um, I, I actually have gotten back into it because I did voice acting for a mod called Sim Settlements 2. Um, and, oh shit, I can't mind these mushrooms without a pickaxe or something. Okay. Um, 
and uh, and I I wanted to you know experience that mod and find my um, find the character that I voiced and you know see see how I did um, and you know he's a he's a minor character or uh, I voiced a couple of characters who are both minor so I haven't gotten to either of them yet but uh, but the mod is good I, I I like the story I like how it sort of gives the um, settlement building system a lot more depth and um and yeah so that's what i've been spending most of my days doing recently cool that's cool yeah i remember you telling me about the about how you voiced some characters in that project i need to i need to download fallout 4 again and get that <laughs> mod so that i can check it out cool because it sounds really interesting um yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And it's a but that's the game that I already own. So yes, and that's that's it. a very big part of it. It's um it's very good when you don't have to spend money on something again. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Yep. The list of companies that I am willing to buy games from is getting shorter by the day. Yeah. That that is that's gonna happen unfortunately yeah it's like partly you know partly because of all of the terrible practices uh, practices of the companies the like treatment of workers um ranging from just like really standard fair labor abuses to like sexual assault and sexual harassment yeah um but it's it's you know there's there is also the like consumer side of it, which is just that like these larger game companies are very consistently delivering games that do not work yeah. on launch, and um, you know it's not just like oh they don't live up to the hype because like I mean I get excited about every movie that comes out yeah or that is due to come out and then I'm. If I let that excitement build, then I am a little bit disappointed. And the same thing happens for me with games. Um, yeah. So I just I try to keep my hype as minimal as possible. But even still, like when a game just doesn't run, like, yeah, it it does not function. Oh, and like, yeah. 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 It's yeah. Yeah. You 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 want to make sure that like your that you're you're getting a product that works and like especially when you go in you know I, I am I am not one of those people who has a fundamental opposition to the concept of early access right like I am very much willing to accept a game that is not quite release ready um, mm -hmm. like that that is not that that it like development is not finished on it I should say because it is release ready because they are releasing it to some degree but they haven't done everything that they want to do with it yet um and now that isn't to say that they never release something prematurely they they often do but um but I'm willing to give more leniency on that um right. but like if if it just doesn't run at all that's not right you know that that's a that's a business practice that you go okay you really just don't give a shit about anything huh <laughs> yeah yeah especially if it's like you know the whole deal with early release is like well you can buy it now for a little bit less than you know what we will eventually charge for it yeah um and you get this version that sorry you get this version hmm. that's like going to be buggy not all of the things that we want to be in the game are going to be there yet you know like you're you're helping us work work out the kinks of the system yeah um that's like that's the deal that's the trade-off and that's fine like that's that's good if you're excited about a project and you want you want to uh you want to help m make sure that it can be the best that it can be. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. But, like, so often it's like, this is the final release, right? Yeah. Five, six, 
or you'll you'll have a situation where like they'll they'll start release on a game and they'll uh, or they'll start work on a game and they'll release it in early access and they may <clears throat> you know make one or two updates and then they go sorry this isn't financially viable and we're shutting down development right. and like that has only happened to me once and it was with Double Fine and Space Base DF9 and that is a significant contributor to why I do not buy Double Fine games now um, I, I just I, I don't trust the company anymore after that um, and so uh, that that is really the only time that it, it has happened to me that's the only time I've been burned like that but it really sticks out in my mind because I knew it was a possibility but you expect it from smaller studios where this is their first or second or third title not like something like Double Fine where everybody who is in who was in that company has been in the industry or the vast majority of people in that company have been in the industry for so long that they understand a lot of how it works and they have a lot of good backing financially and you know they can afford to take a loss on something for a little bit if it means that you know they're either going to deliver on a promise that they made or there is a reasonable chance that it's going to get profitable in the future and uh, yeah i mean i think that if your if your model of getting a game done requires you to charge money from people before like requires you to charge people money for the game before it's actually done mm -hmm. like if you don't have enough funds to get a game done before you start making it mm -hmm. Like whatever your roadmap is, then yeah. like you probably shouldn't be making that game in the first place. Like, yeah. Two, three. Oh crap! Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Just like. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's to me it feels very much the same as like the argument of like if you can't afford, if you can't stay in business and also pay your employees a livable wage, then like you shouldn't be in. You shouldn't be in business. Yeah. Like that's just a cost of doing that should that should be seen as just a cost of doing business. But an essential um, cost of doing business. Right. Yeah. Um and so but yeah, I think it's this I think it's the same for, for game development too. It's like look, you lay out a roadmap and then you get initial funding, whether you're crowdsourcing that on Kickstarter or whatever or you're going a more um, typical funding route, looking for like outside investors, um, whatever it is, like, like your roadmap needs to be based on, your roadmap to a complete deliverable game needs to be based on the funding that you have access to when you begin production. And then yeah. like, if you decide at some point, like, oh, we're gonna release an early access version and we're gonna go ahead and start luck profiting off of the game before it's actually done uh, or if we release an early access version and we start earning more money past our initial investment or our initial you know whatever then then we will be able to add these additional features or get things done yeah. we'll be able to hire a new person and get it done even faster or whatever yeah like that's great but like the early access money has to be supplemental not essential for the thing absolutely otherwise you're just planning your you're just doing a bad job planning your your production absolutely uh hello nahogany uh we are talking alphas and betas uh, to some extent we are uh, also just talking about like game development practices and, and the games industry in general right now. Um, I'm in a single player world at the moment because we've been having some technical issues with the server uh, and hopefully those will get resolved <laughs> at some point. Um, but you know worst case scenario we just uh, we just watch me bumble around in Minecraft and uh, Adam and I have a nice little discussion. Um, with uh, with uh, the help of anyone in the chat, of course, uh, including yourself. Um, yeah, uh, the Let's see where, where where was I going to go? I had something lined up, and then I forgot about it. <laughs> um, oh, it's getting dark. 
Yeah. Sorry, we're both playing single players. Yeah. It's at, oh shit, it's getting dark for me too, by the way. I just ran into a zombie as well. I did mine, are you just doing a regular game? Yeah. A regular, yeah, see I did, I started a hardcore one without thinking about it. What we should have oh. done is we should have both started hardcore ones and see if we could last longer. <laughs> it's, yeah, actually, I, well it's not necessarily too late for me to, we'd have to, you might have to start over though, in order to make it fair. Yeah, we can. St I'm happy to start over. I, all okay. I've done is build uh, two and a half walls of a house. Yeah, so. there's a forest fire out here, which is fun, um, and it's destroying yeah, wanna, all the bamboo. <laughs> you wanna you wanna do that? You wanna start over? Yeah. Uh, cool. Since I'm gonna start yeah. over, I may as well just jump into this lava. We. Nice. There's there's some freedom about being able to like, just say, ah, fuck this. <laughs> yeah. Delete this one, and then start a new world, game mode, hardcore. Mine is, uh, my, I'm titling my new world, Hard Lasting Core. Hard Lasting Core. Yeah. Okay. Um, do we want to modify any game rules, or anything like that? Uh... Any more world options? No, I don't think so. Okay, just a standard old hardcore world. Yeah. Cool. All right, I'm ready when you are. Cool. I'm generating mine now. Yeah, the uh, world rules, I'm like, well, I don't know probably half of what's been added to Minecraft since I stopped playing anyway. So I'm just going to... Oh, I spawned like in the treetops. This is fun. I'm getting down. Yeah, that's the that's the unfortunate thing, and like, and like, like right next to mushrooms. But like, this isn't a mushroom biome. This is like a jungle with huge mushrooms in it. That's oh, interesting. That's cool. Oh, there's some neat. There's a neat stone pillar not far from me. Cool. Yeah, I'm just in a regular old forest. Yeah. Nothing to see here. Um. Well, anyway, um, I mean, I you know, for as much as, like, you can have bad experiences with, um, like, early access and crowdfunded games and this sort of thing, like, I've had plenty of good experiences. I, I The one that, like, really sticks out in my mind is uh, Hypnospace Outlaw, which um, I backed, God, before my family moved back from the UK, um like maybe 2015 or something like that and um and and I and I followed the development for years and you know they they delivered and it was a and it was a good experience it was a great game um and uh and I was really excited to uh to sort of have to be part of it because it was exactly the kind of game I like it was a oh oh my god I've got one of those um carved at an angle ravines too like right near oh, me nice. <laughs> very nice i am in a really good starting spot actually there's just a big old flat i'm gonna take a screen capture of this nice um there's just a big old flat stone wall and then, yeah uh, actually you know what i'm not gonna send that to you until i have a shelter made yeah probably probably a good idea just mining part of this cleaved ravine here. Oh, he didn't fall into the abyss, I don't think. If, if it's this pig here you're talking about, because uh, Nahogany said, I just watched a pig fall into the abyss. I think it's this pig here. I think he's fine. He's just, you know, he's just scared. He's just jumping around. He's just sleeping. He's, he's not even sleeping. I, I, I'm literally watching him jump around at this point, like right now. That's... That's where the abyss goes, to sleepy time. Hmm. Okay, what the not, fuck is dead. this? I, uh... Took a screenshot of that. I have found a biome in here that I do not... Flowering Azalea. Okay. Oh, shit. 
Oh Some fuck. Kind of monster. Oh fuck. Yep, there's monsters. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh god. This is a hardcore world. I'm about to die. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh god. Oh fuck. I'm dead. So what was that? Um, I guess I won that one. I guess you did. <laughs> the first <laughs> round goes to Adam. <laughs> um, I can spectate this world, but there's not much point because I'm the only one in it. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, okay, so you can. I think you can keep going with your world. Um, I'm just going to okay. restart this one. Recreate. Create new world. And hopefully that'll just save over in the same slot because I'd really not. I'd really prefer not to have a bunch of copies of Hardcore versus Adam <laughs> cluttering up my single player menu. I mean, you can't delete them. Yeah, I could delete them, but it's like it saves me the trouble. <laughs> um, anyway, um, so yeah, it, uh, the Hypnospace. Uh, outlaw development cycle was was really fun to be a part of because it was exactly the kind of game that I like. It was you know sort of retro inspired um, and sort of very deep story in this. Well, very very like I wouldn't say necessarily deep, but it is like extremely focused on the story and this sort of thing. So, um, and we have <laughs> Nahagani says, and we have learned that pigs are the beacons of death or the bacon's of death. That's very good. That's very good. Um, yeah, and and so um, and the the developer was very you know upfront about you know communicating with uh, the backers and and everything. So it was it was a good time. Um, so so these these sorts of things definitely can go well and they can be done well and they can be done responsibly. It's just whether the company or the developers really care to do them the right way. And unfortunately, as with many things in, under capitalism, um, the most profitable way is not necessarily the most ethical way. Right. And that's not what I wanted to do. That is not what I wanted to do at all. Why did I do that? You okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm just putting blocks where they don't go. Oh, you fair. Know. Normal Minecraft shit. Fair, 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 fair. I also, I don't know why I do this in hardcore worlds, but I'm like, let me go ahead and build my complicated house right away. <laughs> um, instead of, let me make a box. Yeah. I mean, all, everything I build is a box, but it's like, let me have it all decorated immediately. Yeah. Um, let me have a geometrically interesting box. Oh my god, sheep. Right. Okay. Uh, build a crafting this table. This box pleases my aesthetics. God damn it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in a really nice starting location. It's not really, like, interesting terrain-wise, but it is nice. Nice. Um, because I have a big forest on one side, plains on another side, a lake on a third side, and an ocean on a fourth side. Cool, okay. So... So you really are sort of at the intersection of all the biomes. Yeah, there's mountains over there, there's the big stone wall over there. Yeah. Well, I already have three white wool enough to make a bed, so well, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I would say you're set up to, to win the next round, because I don't see any sheep. Um, and that's going to be a problem for me. Yeah. Okay, so that's the biome where I died last. Oh my god, this is so... Oh, 1.18 world generation. You, you got it going on, pal. <laughs> Such a weird thing to say. Well... <laughs> Doc's not here, so somebody's got to say it. Somebody's got to say it, literally. Yeah, um, maybe we should go ahead and lay out our, our plan, plan for this stream that does not seem to be happening so far. Um, so we, last week we fulfilled all the requirements to advance to the final stage of the city challenge. Um, and our plan is, hopefully, to connect to the server <laughs> at some point 
and sleep to advance to the next stage. And then um, we, we'll do that with Zach. And <laughs> no, not let Adam blow the city up. Uh, not this one at, at the very least. Maybe if uh, maybe if Zach uh, comes in and um, tells us that he's uh, um, they've made a copy of the city in World Edit that we can blow up. Maybe maybe then, but um, not right not right now. Um, and then we'll sort of go on a tour and you know show everybody everything for posterity, uh, and then see if. Uh, see if we have anything else to uh, to discuss or to go explore, explore or experience, and that will be it. We will say goodbye to the Obsidian Project streams. Um, and part of me wants to say for now, but I don't think it is for now. I, th I think we have kind of we we have reached a satisfying conclusion point uh, for yeah, this. Yeah, if we do any more Minecraft related streams, it will be a different. It would not be the Obsidian yeah. project. I mean, it could theoretically be another uh, challenge city. I, I would not be necessarily opposed to that, but certainly, like, right. after a break, you know. And those yeah. are not concrete plans. We're not committing to anything. So. Yeah, I have a fear of commitment, so. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. Valid. Talking to partner. Hmm. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's it's been a good uh it's been a good series. We've we've had some good times, we've made some impressive accomplishments and uh yeah, I'm I'm happy with what we've managed to do. Yeah, I think it's there's a I feel like there's a lot of um God just fast. Why do you why are you so fast? Where did you go? Where did there we go. Sorry, There's please continue. Lot. That's okay. There's a lot. Oh, it's getting dark. I'm not like nearly done with my my home yet. Um, there's. I feel like there's a lot in the Obsidian City that is left unfinished, and I mm. feel like um, just in terms of like. I mean, mostly I'm thinking of just, like, the chambers underneath the town hall. Yeah. Um, uh, but, like, so there's an element where I'm like, yeah, but I still want to do that. I still want to finish those things. But also, it would just, like, I don't know. Maybe we can talk about, like, whether or not that city is open for sort of like the decorating to finish happening. Fuck, I am fucked. God damn it. Um, I'm gonna die. Uh, filling in the roof with dirt. Yep, that's what you have to do sometimes. Um, and the windows with dirt too. Mm-hmm, <laughs> yep. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, I think that there's... Um, yeah, we can have a conversation probably off stream about what Yeah. What those sort of rules and expectations would be. Um to me no, to me though, like there's a part of me that would be very satisfied seeing all of those things like buttoned up, even if like no new structure was added. Yeah. Um But yeah. Yeah, I get what you mean there. Um but I do feel good about, like, I feel good about what we have done and what yeah. it is. And it was really fun. It was, like, super fun to hang out with you all. Yeah. And, and like, just, yeah, I don't know. Before we started this whole thing, like, you and I were talking and I was telling you that, like, having some, some people to play something with consistently has been something that I have wanted for a while. Yeah. And, and and that happened and it was great and yeah 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 it's um it's about forming like and, and to you know to to bring this back to the ostensible purpose of this stream which is uh is uh, the promotion of unionization uh it <laughs> socializing is an important like factor in uh labor organizing and um like even just 
you know, n- like no- knowing that, you know, the the people that you're organizing with um, are interested in, like, things that matter to you, whether that's, like, important or not, whether it's, like, you know, um, recreational or not, whatever. Um, just knowing that you have something in common is, is really helpful and useful. Um, but just, like, as well as, like, for, you know, interacting with other human people purposes, uh, um, you know, it's it's good to have, it's good to have friends. It's good to have people you can, uh, can hang out with. And, uh, so I totally get where you're coming from with that. Yeah. Um, and, and I certainly haven't had people to, you know, just, just do stuff with, um, for a long time. I, you know... Most of my friends since I've moved back have been online and certainly since the pandemic started. Um, But, you know, we haven't, they haven't necessarily been interested in playing the same games as me. And I'm, I tend to trend more single player anyway. Um, But, uh, but it's been, it's been good to have somebody to, uh, to play some multiplayer stuff with. And we might be exploring more of those games as well. Um, in fact, we will be exploring more of those games as well. We just haven't narrowed it down to a final sort of list yet. Um, oh no, it's raining in Minecraft and in real life. This is the worst. <laughs> well, Sorry. The, this, is, this is the good thing about that, because you can listen to the rain in real life, which is a nice, enjoyable sound, and you can not get wet in Minecraft. Um by the by, the Minecraft rain. So you've you've got it. You've got it pretty good. You've got it the best of both ways. Um, I'm skeptical of your logic. <laughs> Fair enough. But that means uh, that the monsters are not going to die. Ah, well, that's true. In real life, I mean, I don't care about the monsters in Minecraft. I'm hmm. not scared. He's not scared. You're not scared. Uh, let's put I don't even together. Know scared. Holy crap! That's a lot of cre- creepers. Okay, that dirt block is going back. Okay, now you're scared. <laughs> now I'm scared. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh. Built myself a nice little shelter here into the uh, side of this mountain. I'm curious what the viewers think um, would be good to, for us to play. Yeah, um, yeah, absolutely. If you have any games that you think um, you know we would like or that you want to see us play, uh, definitely let us know, and uh, we'll we'll consider them if we're if we haven't already. I think. Our list so far is like uh, okay. So the list we've got so far is Destiny Two, Factorio, or Satisfactory. One of the uh, one of the other. Uh, Valheim, Fallout seventy six, and Elite Dangerous. Um, And those are those are the ones you know. We're not gonna do all of those. We're going to pick one of them. (laughs) So. You know, don't 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 go thinking about that. Um, but we are sort of we are sort of going to take uh, a few weeks off from streaming together, and go through, you know, maybe not all of them, but like we might narrow it down to a list of finalists, and you know, we'll we'll go through them, see what we think, see if they're fun, and uh, see if we think we could get a good stream out of them. And um, and figure out hopefully one that uh, that works for all of us. Um, I suggested Fallout seventy six and Elite Dangerous. If you couldn't tell, <laughs> those were those were my suggestions. Uh, but yeah, if if there's any that you can think of uh, that we have not thought of, please do get in touch. Have you played Elite Dangerous before? I have. Um, I I have very much. I wish I could enjoy it more than I do, um, mm-hmm. because that like, you know, spaceship simulator kind of thing is very cool to me. Um, mm-hmm. In fact, I uh, do I have? Hang on, let me just check something. 
Uh, I do. I actually have a game called Artemis Spaceship Bridge Simulator, um, which is like, it's it's that kind of, it is a cooperative game, and you you have to like, it 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 lets you sort of like work as a team to run a spaceship. Um, and I think it works best if you're all in the same room, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, you, you know, you, you have different stations and one person, uh, is manning one station and, and, you know, each person gets their own station, uh, like navigation, shields, weapons, that sort of thing. And, um, and one person is the captain who makes the decisions. Uh, (laughs) um, so, you know, I, I really like the, the idea of working, uh, working together to run a spaceship um, and and just, you know, running a spaceship in general, flying a spaceship in general. But Elite Dangerous, you know, I mentioned before that I, I am heavily motivated by a good story and I kind of need it in order to be happy with a game. And Elite Dangerous doesn't really have that, unfortunately. Like... Right. It's really just space capitalism simulator. Yeah. Um, and that's what, like, I've been told EVE Online is. And I'm not interested in EVE Online. So, you know. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I, I've i had some fun with Elite Dangerous, like, playing with, with my friend. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, oh, look, the sun, the sun is up, but it's still raining. Oh yeah, I slept. The sun will be up now. Um, oh, well, whatever. Um, yeah, I have, I have, I have enjoyed Elite Dangerous, but that was when I had like a friend who basically like like handed me a whole bunch of rare shit to sell, yeah, so that I could then go buy like a good ship. Oh, yeah. fuck, there's like three zombies. Uh, one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. Okay. Boom. Oh, no. I'd tell you try not to die, but I have incentive to actually encourage you to die, so please die. Okay, I survived the three zombies. Damn. I am like in the woods with a bunch of like really tall grass, mm. and the grass is the exact same color as the creepers. Yes, yeah. And so I like cannot tell not tell if there are creepers anywhere until I like hear them. Yeah, that'll happen. Yeah. Oh, there is a spider. Okay, new mission. Kill enough spiders to get enough string to make enough wool to make a bed. Oh, he's learning. He's learning, folks. A chicken. Chicken. I don't know why I'm collecting this copper. I have no use for it. Okay. Um, all right. Let's go out and see if we can. Actually, before we do that, let's build a furnace and start cooking up this meat. Oh yeah, if you can do a campfire, that's a better way of doing meat cooking. Yeah, I can't exactly remember the recipe for a it's campfire. three, is it logs? I think it's three logs along the bottom. And then a pyramid of three sticks. Okay. And like and a coal in the middle? A coal in the middle, yes. Yeah. Okay, I need some more motherfucking wood and I am out of I'm all out of axes uh, I came here to chew bubblegum and swing axes and I'm all out of axes mm. wait that's not very threatening well you know you tried the trees are not scared okay jokes on them my bubblegum is made out of trees
Okay, so I am on my second day. Cool. I am also on my second day. Cool. Yeah, well, my second day is be better than yours. Seconder. More secondly. It's, more, it's the most secondest of the days that yeah. I've had. Yeah. Um, what were we talking about? Really dangerous, that's right. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's like, I don't know. It's, yeah, I was saying that like, what made it part of why I feel like I was able to have fun with it is because my friend basically like gifted me a shit ton of money. Yeah. And so I got to s basically start out with like a good, a good ship. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And, um, all right, I have some wheat planted. God, I have like two hunger things left. I need to find a fucking something to kill. Um, yeah, yeah, I got to start out with like a decent ship. Yeah. And so I got to basically start out doing fun shit. Instead of having to like grind up to get a ship that could actually like do bounty hunting missions or whatever. Yeah. I know what you mean there. Uh, what am I doing? I need to make myself some more tools. I've got some leather, I can make like boots. I need to find some MRF and coal. I've got 22 if you need some. Yeah, let me just, like, <laughs> pop on over there. Yeah. <laughs> just, you know, hop across the dimensions. And, uh... Just real quick. Uh, I guess... Ooh, okay. there's a cow at the top of this hill. Death to the cow. Death to the cow. Ooh. I'm gonna treat you like you're a polar bear. I now have boots. Polar bear boots? No, unfortunately. Yeah, that was that 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 is the first uh ever <laughs> highlight that I've done bothered to do on Twitch is uh Adam's polar bear bloodlust, which was uh very entertaining from last week. It's about time I've killed four cows and I now have one leather. Good. Mm. Oh, Ooh, that's oh no, that's not a, Helen the Hen. Hmm. Helen the Hen. Yeah, I uh, I don't remember seeing any chickens so far, but uh, what is what is the Helen the Hen? Called? Uh, Nahogany said in chat, Helen the Hen. could have sworn there's like more oh uh i got a pickaxe and an axe do i need the anything else coming out not really <laughs> it's a bright bright sunshiny day god damn it the sun is coming out all of my problems have been solved mm. god damn it is it raining again no, I, I just, I'm using this stupid wooden pickaxe and it takes forever to break coal. And <laughs> I always think that it's about to break and then look away and have to start over. Hmm. Uh, let's see. I'll take some of this coal. I've been playing, like, in Minecraft, I've been playing that city challenge, the construction challenge, so much that, like, my fucking my brain is broken when I am not playing it. I'm like, <laughs> I have to use wooden tools forever. And oh my god, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, that's unfortunate. I was like getting coal, and then I was like, oh yeah, I can actually just like grab a whole bunch of this stone and make stone tools now. Yeah. Like, it's okay. I clearly have not been having that problem. <laughs> So 
I'm just going to mine all this stone until my wooden pickaxe breaks. What's that over there? See, what I would like to find is a village. Because then I could at least be around, you know, friendly NPCs. Mm -hmm. Or mobs, I guess. That's what they're called here in, in Minecraft. Yeah. That's a pretty nice looking mountain over there. Ooh, yeah, it I is. Walk off that. <laughs> Literally, you, you said that, like, right as I was, like, a, a mountain <laughs> emerged from the mist <laughs> on my screen as well. Okay. Some parallels here. They're paralleling. Minecraft worlds are all the same. Is that a sheep? Did I see a sheep? No, that's Helen the Hen. Mm. Hello, Helen the Hen. Oh, shit. Hi. It's it's uh, sun setting. I need to get back to my... It's, it's sun setting for you on day number two? Yes, it is. I think you're day number twoer than I am. I think I am, too. How's that... How's that possible? Well, oh, you I have a bed. Yeah, I have a bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now I just need to find where my bunker is. I didn't go that far. I should be able to find it, but well, should and can are. Uh... Oh fuck, skeleton! I made a campfire. Creeper. Somebody be proud of me. Nice. I need validation, please. Oh, thank God. There are monsters nearby. Where? Outside my literally, house? Literally show them to me. Right literally. here. No, do not actually show them to me. <laughs> <laughs> Minecraft was listening to you. It tends to do that when you don't actually want it to. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank God. Whatever it was has lost interest in me. Unfortunately, I think that means there's still going to be a creeper out there somewhere. Ooh, I got food. I'm healing. Things are looking good. Good. I now you just need a bed. House. Yep. One of my favorite things in Valheim is if you build a campfire inside and you don't give the smoke someplace to go, mm -hmm. it will just fill up the inside of the house and it will eventually kill you. Now, see, I, I, I appreciate that attention to detail. I don't like it as a mechanic, but I do appreciate it as a detail. That's why I always wanted to, like, put a trap door above the uh, campfire in, in our... Uh, our uh, Obsidian Isle homes because mm -hmm. I didn't... <laughs> I, I know in Minecraft that's not a thing. Like, the s smoke inhalation cannot kill you, but I just felt like, you know... <laughs> yeah. Well, and oh, I fuck. like having a trapdoor directly over the fire. Mm. Um, a little bit, it's like a nice aesthetic. Actually, something like uh, like an iron trapdoor, you know, that looks yeah. like iron bars would be better because then it would look like a grill. Yes. Um, but I like having the trap door directly over it because it prevents you from accidentally walking on it. Hmm. And that, I feel like, is pretty important. Yeah. Nahogany says, Valheim is Dark Souls for survival games. <laughs> mm. I can, yeah, I can, uh, I can appreciate that. Valheim is, like, hard. Hmm. Well, we'll see if we uh, if we end up playing it. Um, is it a fence? No, that's a gate. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, I'll put my bed back here. So I can get a little bit of space between me and the monsters. Of course it doesn't fucking work out. God. 
hate Minecraft. I hate it so much. Fair. It's literally the worst game. Yeah. I love this. I love doing this stream with you guys where we play the worst game that we know. <laughs> yeah. Where we just we just have a terrible time and uh, yeah. and annoy each other. <laughs> yeah, we and, just have uh, the worst time and don't enjoy each other's company at all. Yeah. Yeah. Our mandatory weekly torture. Mm -hmm. Okay, my my little house is coming together. Nice. It's Pumpkins. Starting to look more like a more more like a wooden box and less like a dirt box. Nice. Which is, you know, I prefer my boxes to be wooden. Uh, ooh, gonna let that okay. Start. We're not going to comment on that. We're not going to comment on that one, yeah. I am. I'm too mentally drained for uh, for a witty uh, comment on that one. Um, yeah, it's it's really weird. I, I literally did nothing today. I just like I, I I mean I read some science fiction that was good, uh, like a short story, and then I scrolled through pages and pages of comments, wondering if there was anything like worthwhile in them, and there wasn't. Uh, well, okay, that's that's not fair. There was. But, like, there were just so many comments. I was like, at some point, folks, you got to shut up. <laughs> you got to let me go on with my day. Um, and, and that was at, like, 11 a.m. or something. And, and then I was just, like, wiped for the rest of the day. Um, so I'm literally, I could fall asleep on stream. <laughs> and uh, that would not surprise me in the least. Well, if you fall asleep on stream, you get a... You get virtual, Twitch banned. Yeah. You get virtual privates drawn on your face. Okay. So, like at, you know, parties when you... you know, yeah. Like yeah. Party. Yeah. Yeah. Man, this whole not having a bed thing sucks. Yeah. I'm I... do it. I'm going to go outside and I'm going to fight something. I may be lost. I may have already lost my fuck house. Spiders, fuck, fuck, two spiders more than I bargained for. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Yeah, I think I've lost my house. Uh, oh, I have definitely lost my uh, house. Where the fuck am I? <sighs> oh, this is bad. See, this is this is the problem with like playing single player for me. This is one of many problems playing single player for me is that I literally just forget where shit is. I need somebody else to be watching and and like keeping track of where our stuff is. All right, but there's there's an egg. Ah, ah, ah. I made him dead. I made the zombie dead. Okie dokie. Um, I think I need to do torches. That's my next thing. Hmm. What the fuck was that? A tower with a light on it helps. You know what? That's a good idea. Um, shame I can't do it now. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll keep it in mind for the future. Okay, I think I, I think I mainly just like fall. I don't think I ever crossed the river, so if I just like keep following the river, and I think I, I must have turned at some point. Turned a corner. Just keep following the river until I get to a corner, and then I turn at that corner. Then I should be able to like. <sighs> oh God! I thought I saw a creeper point my stupid ass back. Oh fuck, it's so. a drowned. It's a drowned. Oh fuck off, zombie. Oh god. How you doing? Uh, I'm doing okay. I just, I'm just being dumb and leaving at night. Leaving at night. Ah, yeah. At night. So, but I have some torches around my house now, so things shouldn't spawn. Okay, like, well that's good. Right next to my house. Okay, so anymore. I have, I have turned a corner at the river. And I would like to say that this looks familiar, but it doesn't. It all looks kind of the same. 
So what I need to do, I need to start mining because I need some iron. So I need to build a little offshoot for my house that will lead to a mine. Okay, all right. I don't know why I keep putting stuff in my chest. Like, or I know why. I keep putting stuff in my chest like, oh, I don't want to get killed and lose this, so I'm going to put it in my Well, <laughs> it's hardcore. Yeah, so. I suppose that is true. Yeah, actually, I suppose I could just take all my stuff with me. Okay, where the fuck is my house? <laughs> I cannot believe this. I I wandered it's like it's daytime still, yeah, but it's gonna be nighttime soon enough. Like I I I wandered like thirty fucking steps, and I'm just hopelessly lost. I mean, considering that I do sometimes need to do like I need to hold my hands up in front of me to tell which way is left and which way is right. Like it's not exactly a shock that I'm bad at directions and navigating, but you know, I would like to think I'm a little better at it than this. Oh, fucking hell. Um I find it's very hard to navigate in Minecraft. Yeah, like everything does kind of look the same to a certain degree. Yeah. Yeah, like I really tend not to wander too far. Yeah. Um, especially in the early game. Holy fuck, there are a lot of zombies out here. Oh god, and spiders. Oh shit. But the problem is if you if you don't wander too far, then you don't find anything useful. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <clears throat> oh, oh god. Oh god. Decisions were made and they were all bad. <laughs> <laughs> that, we, we've got to remember that as a tagline for something. Decisions were made and they were all bad. Oh my goodness. Uh, um, spider bros. Well. Let's do this. I think the bunker is officially dead. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's the spider. Let's just keep wandering. Oh god, that's a tiny zombie. No, no, no! Adam. I died. I died. You died. Uh, my score was 78. Okay. My the first time I died, my score was 5. Have you have you is that your second death or your first death? That's my first death. Okay. So you are so you're technically still in the lead at this point. Because we've died an equal number of times, but you've had the higher score. Okay, it's really starting to get dark. Uh, Alright, I'm just recreating the same world. Yeah. Oh fuck. Okay. Oh fuck. Alright, alright, alright. Dig into the side of a mountain again. Oh, I am in a tree. Jesus Christ. Superstar. Oh, I'm closer to the big tall stone wall. Though. So I think I'm going to go there and hang out at that. There's no way to get out of this tree without getting hurt. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Well, I've walled myself in with dirt. So I've gone from having a bunker to not having a bunker to being in dirt. So, I can't say I'm winning, but I am surviving, and that's something. That's, yeah. Fuck my bed. Oh, my bed. Oh, I didn't take it with me. Why would I have taken it with me? Of course I wasn't going to forget where my fucking bunker was. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, all right. Play this one a little bit differently. There were sheep outside, that is true, but, like, it's dark, and I don't... I'm scared. <laughs> oh, alright, okay, okay, alright, 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 let's do this. Sheepy, 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 sheepy. Whoa, 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 that's a ravine, okay, cool. 
I want to see what's on the other side of this big stone wall. Oh, fuck, that's a zombie. Oh, just a little river? I mean, that's not interesting. Lame. Okay, so I'm going to play this one. Hardcore Nomadic. Nomadic? Nomadic. Oh, oh, Always spiders. Always on the move. Okay. I get to build myself a shelter for each night, but I do not get to uh, oh. shelter more than once. Is going to be my rule for this one. Okay. I thought you were... Oh, shit, creepy. that's a creeper, and it's about to explode. Oh, God. That is a giant ass Oh, cave. fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. I'm in that yet. Oh, fuck, oh, shit, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, shit. You, uh, you doing okay over there? <laughs> I'm not dead yet. But that's about it. All right, let's do some... I'm just gonna run, I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run until I see, fu until I see sheep. gonna run until I either find sheep or the sun comes up or I die. One of those three things is going to happen. Ooh, there's a fire going on over there. Oh, that's on the other side. Oh! Nope. Cool. Let's go check out this forest fire. Let's go check out this forest fire. Let's go check out this kill a cow. Ooh, I almost did not make it over that lava. Okay, cool. That was not a smart plan. Oh god, I'm I'm being hurt by things. What am I being hurt by? Something shooting me? Oh fuck. <laughs> oh god, I keep just running into more and more monsters. It's still pitch black outside. This is a terrible experience. This is a terrible, horrible existence. Oh, it's so far away though. Ooh, it's got like one of the church things. Oh. There is a giant pool of lava, lo lava, lava, oh, lava fuck. between me and the village. Okay. All right. I'm going to dig into the mountain again and build a wall and put a torch up and eat some steak. Oh, God. Okay. How are you Zach? Doing over there? <laughs> I... I have found some temporary shelter. Um, Zach says uh, they had a loose cable. So... <laughs> Thank you, Nahogany. I appreciate it. So we may be able to get back into the Obsidian Project server now. Okay. How about next person who dies will... We'll check on that. Okay. All right. Let me just inform them of that. Hardcore... Head to head. Next death will try to connect to us. Ooh, there's a broken obsidian or a nether portal over here. Oh man, oops, that's lava. Okay, don't go in that. I got some obsidian. Okay, let's oh, get man, running I might again. Go oh, to the nether, like right shit. now. Holy crap, that would be very irresponsible of me, though. The nether? Yeah, that would be a terrible idea right now. Uh, yeah, I found an obsidian or a broken nether portal, and I think one, two, three, four. I think that's enough to go. Now I just need flint and steel. Okay, cool. We'll see. We'll see if I'm able to track down the stuff I need for that. Boom. And I am in a village. Nice. I envy you so much right now. I am still just sprinting at a mad dash through the forest. There's some pigs and some pumpkins, but I can't stop because I've got two creepers behind me and a skeleton shooting me with arrows. What the fuck? <laughs> I think I need to clarify a rule um, for myself here. Uh -huh. uh, I know that I said I cannot sleep in the same shelter more than once. I'm also going to say that I can't sleep in the same village more than once. Okay. Because that feels like it would be um, flying in the face of the challenge if I True. was like, house in the Fair. Same I 
did get a yellow bed though, and that is making me happy. Nice. Okay, I'm slowing down. I'm hungry. I need to eat some food. Doing constant spin. Okay, I'm full. Okay, get my axe back out. Let's start sprinting again. <laughs> that wants carrots. Okay. Horses. Oh, if only there's I had a saddle. There's a cat. There's a cat in this village. Nice. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do with a cat, but... I got lots of potatoes. What the fuck? I don't have potatoes. Oof. What the fuck do I look like? What the fuck do I look like? Irish? Well, I mean, for a good long while, they didn't have any potatoes either. That was like a oh. significant part of their history. Oh, burn. It's not intended to be as a burn. It's just a factual fact. But uh, but fair enough. Uh, <laughs> oh. There's so many cows. Shh. Many cows Shit. 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 One. Fuck. <sighs> zigzag. Zigzag. Weave. 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 <laughs> Do a barrel roll. I would if I could. Oops. What the hell? I don't know how far away I am from my original bunker now, but uh, it's probably pretty far. I'm I'm genuinely, honestly surprised that just sprinting in a random direction is uh, is is working this well for me. Oh, the sun's coming up. Oh, thank God. It hasn't Ooh. come up yet, but. Uh, What's that light in the distance? Oh, I had a cooked steak. Is that another? Uh, is that another lava pit, or is that like a village? Oh, it's fire. Oh, it's a forest fire. Okay, no, that's fine. That's that. That works too. Well, a plains fire, I guess. Savannah fire. Yeah, it's a lava pit setting setting the grass on fire. Cool. That works. That's fine. All right, I'm going to rob this village of all of their wheat, and then I'm going to... Uh, okay, zombified villager, which may suggest... Ooh, he dropped he dropped a, an iron ingot. Oh, that may be something very good for me. This particular son? No, they were not. Oh, yes, they were. There are more Helen of Hens around. Nice. Helen of Troy. Yes, it was a sheep. These are sheep. I am... Oh, God, okay, I finally... Okay, I have three blocks of wool. I have enough to make a bed, but it is daytime now, so... We're just going to keep running. We're just going to keep sprinting and see where we get. Because this is actually kind of fun. I'm, I'm genuinely shocked and surprised that I was able to just sprint throughout the entire night and it didn't end terribly for me. <laughs> if one of us doesn't I, my, die soon, this is going to be the whole stream. <laughs> my policy is usually that the more stamina you have, the better your nights go. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's true. But, hey, what's the point of having all that stamina if you don't use it, you know? Exactly. That's why I, too, just run all night long. Good, good. <sighs> okay. I have taken a stack and a half of uh, hay bales from from this village. <laughs> this I, is. I think there's more. This is weird. Try and get a good angle on this for a screenshot. There's just like there's a pillar of dirt. Uh, yeah, it's a, yeah. Pray at the dirt altar, says Nahogany. It's it's like dirt and then stone, and then a a mound of dirt around it. Like it's it's a natural generation, obviously, but it's like it's like somebody took a cross section of like one of those mountains over there and just put it here. Wait a second. Where the fuck did my where the fuck did my bed go? 
God damn it, did I put my bed in one of the chests somewhere? I have to oh, you may have. Get out. This is my bed now. <sighs> Alright, I'm sleeping through my first night. This means I am unstoppable. Yeah. <laughs> to find there are some radishes that are done there's some horsies over here okay right. need to cross a big long wide river so we'll be doing that for a bit oh that's right I can swim fast all right um hey andrew's chat what uh what direction should i travel away from this village on my first day weast what was that weast 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 left okay. left nahogany says left um okay that actually winds up being west because i happen to be looking north ah interesting Another river. Farewell, Yawn Village. Should I make? Should I piss off the golem right before I leave? Yes, yes, you should. Anything that will make your run harder. Okay, I, I punched him, and now I'm running. Good. And he's following very slowly. Yeah. Oh. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! It's an ocean. I didn't think of that. Oh god. Oh, Adam. Oh, Adam, Adam, Adam. Oh, I have enough. I have enough shit to make a boat. Cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nahogany says that is on brand for Adam. <laughs> we should fight this polar bear. Runs away and lets the polar bear attack Alice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Okay. All right. I am now in some alpine forest land. Okay, there's some mossy cobble here. Some ruins of some sort. I don't see the golem, but... <laughs> and they say chivalry is dead, says Nahogany. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah some I don't think the cobble. golem's following me. Do they stay restricted to the village? Um, I think there is a certain like radius around the village. They won't like leave. Okay. All right, I am in a boat and I am rowing through the ocean. Mm. West. Sort sort of west. Sort of west. Okay. Now I'm heading more west. Quasi what west. Is that? Oh, it's a cave with lava in it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is this is really kind of weird. There's like a bunch of like little concentrations of um mossy cobble every every so often and uh, I don't know if it's like supposed to be remnants of a road or something and there's like a village nearby but I mean it's not unwelcome whatever it is whoa whoa find something oh come on oh that's not as cool as I thought it was going to be Oh, um, fair. It's just like an opening. It's just a big hole. Holy shit. Cool. Actually, this, is, this is really fucking cool looking. Big hole is good. Uh, there are definitely some some baddies down there though. Oh, that's a skeleton. I'm gonna I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna leave. Yeah, this is. All right. I'm not quite feeling brave enough to go down. This is just bizarre. I don't understand what the purpose of all this mossy gobblestone is. I wonder if there's like a dungeon or something nearby. Maybe. Because usually it spawns with dungeons. Holy crap, there's so many sweet berry bushes. 
All right, I need to stop fucking around. I need to have a plan. I need stone tools. That's what I need. So that's my objective now. Just getting some stone. Okay, well, we're... About... Yeah, we're through this biome, and there wasn't a village, so... I think if I can find a village, and I haven't died at that point, uh, I will exit out of my um, hardcore world and go see if we can connect to the server. Cool. Ooh. Because in addition to wanting to uh, to have our, our final Obsidian Project stream, uh, I am surprisingly tired. Like, <laughs> mentally. Mm -hmm. Not just cognitively. So. Right. Oh, I have stone now. Nice. You know what oh, means? shit. Uh, I almost fell into a big hole. Watch out. For big hole. Ladies, I've got stone. Nice. I don't... I'm not really sure what that means, but I'm sure it means something. It means something. Definitely. Fox boxes. Ooh. Oh, hey, nice, sweet berries. I missed that jump. That Oops. Works. Whoops. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's, and that's it's, cool. The sun is setting again. Oh, I believe in nighttime. I have reached a cold biome. Nice. I have reached a very steep river, but I don't think I really have any other choice but to cross it. Interesting. I cannot run quite as fast on ice. Hmm. Ow. Oh, oh, oh. I tried to dive into the water. I hit the ground twice as I came down. So, that didn't exactly work. That's what we call a near miss. Yeah. Okay. Am I still going west? Uh, sort of. <sighs> oh, iron. Oh, I need to make my stone... Okay, well, this isn't exactly a village, but I am, uh, we are approaching 10 p.m., and so I think I should probably go ahead and test to see if we can, uh, get to the server now. So I'm going to save and quit to title. Okay. And check on, okay. So, delete this old one, yeah. Okay. Okay. Obsidian Project. I hear a llama nearby. 
Do you? Mm-hmm. Connection timed out. No further information. Hmm. Well, that's concerning. Wait, I don't want copper. I can't do anything with copper. There's a hole in the ground that I'm not going to go in. There's the wrong Oh, that's right. I can, uh, I have wool and I can make a bed. And I'm sleeping. And I'm awake. And I'm continuing my westward march. Nice. Let's do a little tiny shelter in here. Uh, I don't seem to have okay. a crafting. So but here's here's a question about the nomadic thing. Mm-hmm. So so I'm being nomadic, right? Yeah. Um, and I cannot sleep in a given shelter more than once. Yes. But can I can I spend more than one night in a given shelter? I would say. Like basically, can I camp somewhere for a few days? And not sleep more than once. Right. In order yeah. to, like, gather the supplies that are there. Or do I have to just, like, keep moving no matter what? Ooh, I heard a skeleton. Hmm. Well, that's because there's a fucking giant cave right there. Also, my frame rate is taking a dump. Ugh. That's okay. That's what happens when you're hardcore on you. The computer just literally cannot keep up. Mm. That's a giant ravine. I'm glad I didn't keep walking that direction. Um, yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Am I able to uh, stay in a... I think it's... Yeah, I, I think that's okay. Um... I would say maybe like maybe like limit yourself to like two or three days in the same shelter uh, with just you know with just one sleep Jesus Yeah, man, my frame rate is, like, pretty bad right now. Mm. I don't know what's going on. I wonder if I just have, like, too much. I don't know. It doesn't seem like... Yeah. Okay. Cold area. Isn't there some kind of like snow that I gotta watch out for? Yes. Um, if you stop in in deep snow, you will sink into it. Oh, that's a that's a fucking pit right there. Oh god. All right. You know what would be kind of an interesting like playthrough is if you have to travel in a certain direction. Yeah. Uh, and you have to travel in a certain direction, and you have like a limited number or a limited like time set each day in which you can move. Mm. Um, and you have to like let's say you have to travel west. Right. Oh, I think I'm about to hit another village. Let's say you're you're you have to travel west, but you can only travel west within a certain set of mm. north south coordinates. Yeah. So like, if you come to a ravine, 
that goes north and south further than you're able to travel, you yeah. have to build a bridge across it. Oof. I just fell into a cave. I'm fine, though. Nice. I love falling into caves. Do you? Yeah. Oh, Liter oh. Literally my favorite thing. Partial nether portal. Hopefully there's nice. a chest here. And I found a little village. Yes, there up is. On top of the mountain. Fuck yes. Golden pickaxe on breaking three. Flint and steel. What? Golden shovel curse of vanishing. I don't know what that does. Light weighted pressure plate. Golden sword fire aspect two. Golden sword mending. Flint. Light weighted pressure plate. Wow. <laughs> Wait a second. No, okay, it's not. For a second I was like, is this the same fucking village? But it's not. It's not. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is a cool mountain. Wow, they've got a whole nothing in their fucking chests. <laughs> Alright, well we are continuing on our running tour of this world. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I, I did try to connect to the server a little earlier, but it, uh, it timed out, so... Yeah. I've, I've let Zach know. Hopefully they will see that message and be like, oh shit, okay. Oh, that's a goddamn drop. Yeah, that'll happen. All right, what am I going to do about this? Oh, that's not even, the drop isn't even facing west, so mm. that's what I'll do about it, is I'll just go west. Life is peaceful there. I'm sorry, Actually, I started too low on that one. And stay in this village for the night. this mountaintop village. Yeah? But it's just, yeah, it's just, you know, it's, there's, you know, I can't stay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Nice little arch. But what I can do is I can take the time smelt the iron that I found. Nice. Okay. I oh, I have to... a golden hoe with curse of vanishing. Vanishing. Hmm, okay. I also found some enchanted armor, a golden chest plate with project projectile protection three. Ooh. So nice. That'll come in handy when the skeleton army finally tracks me down. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So I am struggling to find a village and also struggling to stay awake. <laughs> We can uh, we can call this quits anytime. You don't have to stay up. Yeah, I mm, I was really hoping that we could wrap up the Obsidian Project tonight, but uh, we may not. Unfortunately, technical difficulties may have uh, foiled us there. Um, yeah. Oh shit! Here's a path. Here's a path. Here's a path. There's a village. <laughs> I found a village finally. Fucking hell! Oh, thank God. I am I am under no such nomadic requirements, so I am going to Oh, there's diamonds and obsidian and horse armor. <laughs> and apples and oh god. Oh, okay. Alright, I might actually 
come back to this at some point. Um, who knows? But, uh, yeah, I am going to... Let's see, get out that golden shovel, Curse of Vanishing. And... Uh, oh, no, that's the problem here. Just get rid of this hoe. I guess I can get rid of those seeds, too. And the bee root seeds. And the root. dirt here. And, uh... Just level out this road a little bit. Oh, nice, they've got some market stalls. This, this, this is a nice little village. Just need to find like the rest of it. <laughs> so I found the blacksmith's uh, workshop, but uh, mm -hmm. that's all so far. Here's a house up here. Some more houses. Okay, and here's the golem. The village golem. This motherfucker came in. Get the fuck out of my bed. Oh, librarian. Weaponsmith. Okay. Yeah, it's a nice little place. Nice little village you got there. Be sure yeah. If anything happened to it. It's not going to. Okay. All right. Well. I will it, find a way. <laughs> it's especially not going to because I think I'm going to call it for here, unfortunately. Um, so this was supposed to be the Obsidian Project Week 18, uh, but I think this is just going to end up being called, um, like, uh, uh, stand in minecraft stream or <laughs> standalone minecraft stream or something like that uh, <clears throat> because we couldn't do the obsidian project we couldn't connect to it this this week uh unfortunately and i am uh oh there's some villagers who have come into this house that i'm i'm bunking in um so i am unfortunately uh <laughs> really quite fading quite fast so I'm going to have to call it for tonight, but uh, I hope this was fun. I hope it was interesting watching me literally sprint for my life uh, through, like, at least three different biomes, uh, and surprisingly, it worked. I don't know how. Um, good, uh, good, good competition, Adam, and uh, this was yeah. fun, and uh, it may not have been what we had planned, but uh, it was still, still hopefully worth watching, so... Hopefully you enjoyed okay. it. Um, hopefully next week we will be able to do the final stream. Or if not, we may end up doing it um, not live, but you know I, I may end up posting it on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash dominate EYE, so uh, keep an eye on that. Um, I've also got a whole bunch of like past streams that I need to finish uploading. Uh, that I have not done. So uh, those will be going up there eventually, hopefully this week. Um, so yeah, uh, check that out and uh, stay tuned. And, and hopefully you will, uh, ho hopefully you'll come back uh, on Friday for more of my Steambot Chronicle streams. Uh, and hopefully those will be interesting. So uh, anything you want to say, Adam, as we wrap up? Be sweet and have fun. Be sweet and have fun. Bye, folks. Bye. <laughs> See you later.